What's up, guys? Neil Orford here taking a look at Stochastic's NFL DFS lineup generator for the week three main slate on both DraftKings and FanDuel. While you're coming in, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. As of this week, we have a deal going on for the lineup generator. You can get it for just $9.99 for your first week if you use the link in the description of this video. This is the first discount we've had on the lineup generator this year fantastic deal again every single lineup you get in the lineup generator has been run through the stochastic sims and has been found to be a plus ev long-term lineup so long term you would expect every lineup that you're going to get here to be a profitable lineup not many places can say that fantastic deal so check it out if you haven't already done so use that link in the description to get it for just 9.99 for your first week even after that i think it's 14.95 per week so remains a fantastic deal you can get a little nice discount on your first week as well Let's start by looking at some DraftKings lineups. I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time than I usually do. So I am going to do all stack types. But instead of doing all lineups, I want to see what the different buckets look like. So I'm going to look at a few lineups from Chalky, a few Balance, and a few Contrarians. I want to start by just looking at what do the Chalky lineups look like this week. All right, first Chalky lineup we have here. We have a Patrick Mahomes double stack with Sky Moore. And Travis Kelsey, no bra- no Bears bringbacks in this lineup. We actually have the Chiefs defense in there as well. So really stacking the Chiefs pretty hardcore in this one. We got the cheap Tank Dell in the flex there. Drake London, nice matchup uh, with the Lions. We got Chris Olave in there, pretty nice matchup with the Packers as well. They've been giving up some long balls. We got Jerome Ford. I don't love that. Jerome Ford against the Titans, I got to say, is not one of my favorite plays of the week, but he is fairly chalky, and he they've said they're, they're going to use him as the lead back. So going to get the usage, even if we don't love uh, the matchup necessarily for Jerome Ford. And then, of course, Miles Sanders against the Seattle defense. That's been pretty underwhelming so far. So I was kind of surprised, to be honest. This is the first chalky lineup we're looking at. We don't have any representatives from the Vikings or Chargers in this lineup. That was a surprise to me. All right, second lineup we have here, Deshaun Watson, Elijah Moore is our stack. This one, we do have a couple Vikings representatives, Justin Jefferson and KJ Osborne in the lineup. We get Jameer Gibbs now without David Montgomery. Maybe the usage goes up a little bit against the Falcons. We got Zach Moss in there as well. Uh, Travis Kelsey doubles down this lineup as well. And then Josh Downs with the Bills defense. All right, interesting. Once again, only we got a couple Vikings, but no Justin Herbert, no Kirk Cousins. So not going with the super chalky quarterbacks again there's only so chalky you can get and still be plus ev so these lineups not extremely chalky but they're you know chalky enough uh, and these are of course plus ev lineups third lineup we've got a two a double stack interesting two a double stack with no tyree kill we've got two with braxton barrios and durham Smythe. we've got tony pollard in there we got double vikings again up against the Chargers, madison and jefferson we have the bring back here uh for that secondary stack with mike williams coming in from the chargers we get Jerome Ford in this one as well with the commander's defense. All right, now I'm just going to, uh, I think that's all I'm going to do for the chalky lineups. Let's let's do one more. Okay, just want to see if we were going to get one of these Viking stacks. And sure enough, it comes here. Kirk Cousins with Jefferson and Osborne, Gerald Everett to bring back. We got Tony Pollard and Bijan Robinson, two of the more expensive running backs who are both in pretty nice matchup against the Cardinals and the Lions. Robert Woods this time instead of Tank Dell is our cheap uh, Texans wide receiver option. And then Alec Pierce in there with the commander's defense once again. All right, now let's go check out some less chalky lineups. So going back to DraftKings main slate, all stack types. Now I'm going to go to some balance lineups, take a look at what they look like. All right, our first balance lineup, we have a double stack Trevor Lawrence with Christian Kirk and Zay Jones in there. We've got Miles Sanders and Pacheco as the running backs. Amon Ross St. Brown also in the lineup. Travis Kelsey in there once again. And then Tank Dell, the bring back on our uh, Jaguar stack. Packers as the defense in this one. Second line, we get Dak Prescott with CeeDee Lamb and Brandon Cooks. We don't have any Cardinals bring backs. We got Miles Sanders in there. Craig Reynolds again, maybe taking on that David Montgomery role at low ownership. We get Jay Jets in there. We get Sam Laporta also representing the Lions in there. Uh, and we, we do have two, two Vikings in this one. Again, Packers defense. And then our third lineup here, we have Cousins with Jefferson and Osborne. So double stacking once again with the Vikings. Keenan Allen as a bring back in this one. Jerome Ford, Craig Reynolds going with the cheap running backs. Michael Pittman in there. Zach Ertz as a tight end. Just a volume monster so far this year. Uh, and then the Seahawks defense. 
All right, let's take a look finally at some contrarian lineups. Going to do all stack types, and now I'm just going to take a look at a few contrarian lineups. Interesting. So in our contrarian lineup, we get to Justin Herbert with Mike Williams. We get a couple of Vikings ringbacks in Justin Jefferson and KJ Osborne. Raheem Mostert and Zach Moss are the running backs. We get Michael Thomas in there, Durham Smythe at tight end, and then Patriots defense. Next, we've got Cousins with Addison and Hawkinson. We don't have any bringbacks from the Chargers in this one. We've got Zach Moss and Michael Pittman from the Colts. Jerome Ford once again, C.D. Lamb in the lineup as well, and then Packers defense. So let's take a look at one more on DraftKings. Double stack, uh, Vikings onslaught here. We've got Cousins with Jefferson and Osborne, but also have Alexander Madison in the lineup. We don't have any Chargers representatives. We do have Jameer Gibbs once again. We've got Christian Kirk, Zay Jones out this week. Kirk should have a bigger role. we got Kyle Pitts in there against the Lions and then Devontae Parker and the Chiefs defense in this one. All right, so that's going to do it for our look at the DraftKings lineups. Actually, let me go through. I'm just going to save. No, I'm not going to do that. All right, let's, let's take a look at some FanDuel lineups as well. All right, so FanDuel. FanDuel, I'm just going to do all stack types, and we'll just look through a handful of them. I'm going to do all lineup types again for FanDuel. So now we're just getting a mix of all the different types of lineups. So our first lineup, 103% total ownership in this one. We've got Mahomes. We've got a full, full-on full chief stack here with Mahomes, Kadaris, Tony, and Travis Kelsey. But then we also have Isaiah Pacheco in the lineup as well. No Bears bringbacks in this one. Got a couple representatives from the Jaguars in Travis Etienne and Evan Ingram. Got Michael Thomas in the lineup, Drake London in the lineup, and then Patriots defense. So that one was 103% total ownership. This one we're down to 101% ownership. Vikings onslaught, Cousins with Jefferson and Osborne. Got a couple Packers representatives in this one as well, Christian Watson and Luke Musgrave. Javante Williams in the flex. Uh, we got James Cook and Travis Etienne as the running backs. And then finally, the Bills as the defense in this one. All right, single stack here with Mahomes. Mahomes and Kelsey. We don't have any Bears bringbacks. We've got Jameer Gibbs and Miles Sanders as the running backs. Stefan Diggs make it into this lineup. Calvin Ridley as well. Michael Wilson, interesting, from the Cardinals in this one. We got Dalton Schultz as the flex. So we're doing double tight end in this one, and then the Jets defense. All right, let's take a look at one more on FanDuel. Final lineup, we got Cousins double stack with Jefferson and Osborne. We got Mike Williams on the bring back from the Chargers. Gibbs and Mostert are the running backs. We got Jerry Judy as one of our wide receivers, and then Dalton Schultz in the tight end again with the Bills defense. Now I'm for FanDuel, I'm just going to go through and save the rest of these lineups. Since I did balance here, I want to see what who our highest exposed players are across all the different types of lineups. And it's been allowing me to do 40 lately. All right. So we got 47% Kirk Cousins, 40% Isaiah Pacheco, 40% Justin Jefferson, 28% Kelsey, Osborne, Gibbs, Moss. Uh, so interesting to see. We're getting to a lot of Vikings at the top here with Cousins, Jefferson, Osborne, guessing Hawkinson. Oh, we got Madison here. Hawkinson not too far down, Addison not too far down. So Vikings looking really good here. Sort of surprising to see not as much of the Chargers as I would have anticipated. Not as much, uh, not as many Justin Herbert sacks. We've got Mike Williams up here at 20% in these lineups, but not getting to, I guess we got 12% Keenan Allen, not really getting to any Justin Herbert. Did we get to any here? I may have missed it, but I, at the very least, I don't think we got to a ton. Here we go. Just 3% Justin Herbert in these lineups, 3% Josh Palmer as well. So kind of interesting getting to a lot of the Vikings, not a ton of the Chargers. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Hit the like button if you haven't already done so. It really does help out quite a bit. And again, if you haven't signed up for the lineup generator, it's just $9.99 if you use the link in the description of this video. Either way, good luck this